episode five of Hawkeye is out and <laughs> this show is just so crazy. And the reason I didn't post yesterday is just because I didn't really have much to post. But today, just as I do basically every single week with all the Marvel shows, I talk spoilers about them. That's what I'm going to do in this video. And there is so much to talk about. This is easily the best episode yet. They basically improve every single week. It's really hard for me to rank them all, but this one is definitely my favorite so far. This one's crazy, but of course, spoiler warning, if you haven't seen it, you need to check it out. There's some pretty crazy reveals in this. And just saying, I didn't post yesterday because I didn't really know what to post, but also I'm being very careful on the internet right now uh, of spoilers for No Way Home. I'm seeing it tomorrow night, and when I post this video, like, I'm not looking at comments. I haven't looked at comments in, like, two days, uh, like, on my own. I turned off uh, notifications for YouTube Studio and stuff, turned them off for Twitter, barely going on Instagram, like, on my account, like, my UN Reviews account. I'm not reading DMs. I'm basically not looking at stories. I'm definitely not scrolling on it. I'm being very cautious about it, not going on letterbox, even just know what people think about it. I've heard a few little things, but nothing even spoiler related, which is great because I am seeing it tomorrow night and I'm super excited. But when you post a Hawkeye video and some people have already seen Spider-Man No Way Home, I feel like they're going to raid the comments. So of course, be careful there. But anyway, let's talk about this episode. So this was not what I was expecting with the opening. I did not at all expect to see Yelena and have her kind of take the center stage. I assumed that she was going to be in this episode, just not as much as she was, but I love it because obviously I love Yelena. She is awesome. I'm just going to move my mic a little bit closer here. Um, but it opens with her and it's like basically during the snap. So she's at uh, this one house and then she goes to the bathroom and she goes to like you know, wash her hands, whatever. She runs the tap and then she disappears. And then she comes back and like uh, the bathroom kind of wipes like this and it changes to green and all that. It's like, wow, like we just saw basically from the perspective of them what, what the snap was like. Like she was like, I was gone for five seconds and now everything's different because she walks out and like uh, the woman she was talking to before like has a family and stuff and it all looks different and she's very confused. And then she says, I have to go find Natasha. And for us hearing about that, it's like, oh... It, it's sad. It's really sad. This show really reminds us, I feel like, how much we love and miss Natasha. I mean, it totally makes sense why she died in Endgame, and I almost, like, want to make a video about that, but I feel like everything's been said about that, and it's because it was, you know, basically two and a half years ago when that happened. I'm not giving a spoiler warning for Endgame. I apologize for those who haven't seen it, but that'd, that'd be weird. But anyway, and then we see our main characters once again, Clint and Kate, and Kate has gone home because at the end of the last one, when they were fighting Elaine and all that, um, you know, Clint's like, yeah, you need to go home because Eleanor, mom, told her to just because she wants her to be safe because some of this stuff is getting dangerous and we kind of see more about that later on in the episode to do with her mom, which really surprised me. This episode definitely has the biggest surprises yet and I found that really interesting. I think that's what really hooked me is that a lot of this episode is just conversations, but they're so interesting. I know a lot of MCU fans really won't be able to sit through conversations, but I feel like in this episode it's different. Now, for me, I can sit through a two or three hour movie of just conversations. It doesn't matter to me, but here they were so intriguing. And one of, if not my favorite scene here is when Yelena shows up in Kate's old apartment that it's, you know, it's all ruined now because of the malt of cocktails and all the, the burning of it uh, that we saw in episode two, I think. Yeah, I think episode two. And then Yelena's just there. She's like, macaroni, yeah, you want some? I know how much you like it. And then uh, I think Kate's something like, damn it. I know how good box macaroni is. And she keeps going, oh, Kate Bishop, I can't do an accent like that at all, Russian accent. But then they have this really interesting conversation that works in like a funny way, but it also is like exposition done really well. It explains so much and we know more about the characters. And then right as Yelena leaves, she goes, oh yeah, one more thing, don't get in my way. And that's like, oh, she's being really nice to her. She doesn't want to hurt her but she might in the future. And this episode is called Ronin, and that is because Clint finally puts on the Ronin suit once again, has this really badass action scene where, you know, he's a ninja just like he is as Ronin, and it was so cool to see how he just shows up and you just see the sword blade uh, beside the one guy on the sniper who we've seen uh, lots before, and then he's slowly like taking out the legs of other people, and then he starts fighting uh, one of our main antagonists. We have a lot in this show, and that scene is amazing. It's shot so well. It's 
possibly the best action scene of the show, but I mean, I've, I've liked them all. The first two episodes, the action was a little shaky, but like the rest have been amazing. But this one, I don't know, there's a lot of emotion behind it. And then even when Clint talks and says like, uh, you see my face, like he takes off the Ronin mask. He's like, you see my face. If you hunt me or my family, then uh, this, that'll be the last thing you do. And I think that scene is so good because right before that, he was talking to like the uh, 2012 like memorial, you know, the Avengers memorial. And he was just like talking to Natasha as if he would, Natasha, Natasha, whatever you want to say. He was talking to her like he would as a person saying like, I'm going to do something really difficult or something that I don't want to do. Something along those lines. I don't remember it exactly. I apologize. And it just set up the intensity here, but the biggest kind of twist moment here. I mean, we had Jack get arrested and stuff, and he even, like, seems a little bit confused, like, just very subtly. He's only in it for, I think, that scene. But anyway, the end, when they're in an apartment, it's, like, Kate, um, Clint, uh, the dog, pizza dog, of course, and then one of the, uh, is it Lark, Lark, Larkers, or the, the one firefighter, I think he's a firefighter, you know, we've seen him a lot in this show, and then Kate gets a text from Yelena, and she says, I know who hired me, Eleanor Bishop, and then, uh, which is obviously her mom, and then, uh, Kate takes the phone, slides it to Clint, and says, do you know this guy? And it's a picture that Yelena took with Eleanor and Kingpin, and I knew we were going to see Kingpin in the show, uh, obviously, because we're pretty sure that that was his hand before in episode, I think, four, no, three, three or four, whatever one of the last ones was. I was pretty sure it was him, but here we see him in his white suit. Now, I haven't seen Daredevil, but I know who Kingpin is and all this, so... This will be interesting going on. I really want to know what will happen in this final episode. This episode felt longer as well. That's why this video is much longer than the other ones that I normally talk about. I really love this one. I mean, I've really enjoyed the other ones, but this one, I can tell, is definitely the best one. So many shocking moments and still no post credit scenes, which actually surprises me. And I think the ending where they played your mean one, Mr. Grinch, I thought uh, that, was, that was pretty funny, pretty ironic. But what is your favorite episode of Hawkeye so far? What was the best moment of this episode? And Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Over and out.